Yes, welcome back to it, your Feel Good Breakfast Show on this Wednesday morning. Listen, I'm sitting with a big smile on my face Why? because last night at What's nine o'clock, I was tuned yes. in on television mm -hmm. to watch our man oh. Trevor Noah. I was oh. also tuned in. Well, it was amazing. It, it finally was amazing. happened. That's right. Trevor Noah debuted on the Do the Daily Show on Monday night, and Americans were thrilled, but not as thrilled as South Africans were. Now, can you believe he's finally taken over from John Stewart? And if you didn't ma manage to catch the first show, well, we've got a little clip just for you. You know, John Stewart was more than just a late-night host. He was often our voice, our refuge, and in many ways, our political dad. Uh, and it's weird, because dad has left. <laughs> and now... And now it feels like the family has a new stepdad. <laughs> also, why didn't they get an American to host? And again, Comedy Central tried, and those people also declined. And so once more, a job Americans rejected is now being done by an immigrant. <laughs> Many people are part of the reason that I'm sitting here today. But above all, I would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge one man, and that's John Stewart. Thank you, John. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for believing in me. I'm not quite sure what you saw in me, but I'll work hard every day to find it. And I'll make you not look like the crazy old dude who left his inheritance to some random kid from Africa. <laughs> random kid from Africa did. That's really, really proud. The immediate responses were mostly positive, and Americans loved him, but many critics said that while it was a smooth transition, it was a little bit flat. What did you think? They said the same thing about Jimmy Fallon when he started mm, on The Late Show, yeah. so it's cool. But yeah. what people were shocked by, I think I was a little shocked myself as well, when Pearl Tusi went on uh, social media, on Instagram uh, particularly, and said, ladies and gents, a guy I don't really like, uh, but I'm unbelievably proud of. Thank you very much for showing us uh, all the limitless possibilities that we have when we apply ourselves. I wish you all the strength, blessings, and success. Go, Trevor, go. And then people mm. just went at her, just bah! She's hating, why is she seeking attention, yeah. you know, especially after the whole Bonang saga and whatever. And then she went back on Twitter and says, oh, when you realize people take what you feel and say too seriously, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, what do you I, make of that? What I don't do you guys know, make I of find that? it just to like, certain people love controversy. You know, they're gonna put something out there because they know people are going to respond. But would be the first person to be like, can we take a selfie if you were to meet them? I don't mind her <laughs> saying what she did. I, I don't mind, I just think you need to be responsible. If you're gonna say something on, on Instagram or Twitter, then uh, then you have to just be responsible what you say. Hey, uh, we love you, Trevor. Well done, you did it. It's <laughs> finally there and we can't wait to see you grow in that role.